Hey guys, today we're going to be changing the cabin filter on this MY99 WRX. It's the GC GF GM series. We're going to be using this Ryko RCA 319P cabin filter. It's a two piece filter, it suits the factory Subaru frame cabin filters. Uh, anyway, let's take it apart and I'll show you what I mean. It's really cool. Alright, so first of all, let's get the cabin filter out of the dash. Okay, so we just undo our two Phillips retainers here. You probably want to service your cabin filter about once a year, depending on your driving and parking conditions and habits. Obviously, the more trees you park under, the more leaves that are going to end up inside here. Uh, and the dustier the roads, the more dirt's going to end up inside. So we just slide our filter cover back. Just slide it out of the bottom filter. And then slide the bottom filter out. And then slide the top filter out. Like that. Alrighty. Alright, so here's the elements. You can see there that they're well and truly stuffed, right? Now before you go and throw these away, just stop what you're doing, right? Because you don't need to do that anymore. We're going to keep the plastic frames, and all that we do, right, is just take the old spent elements out of them, like this. Okay. We just turf them in the trash. Boom, they're gone. What we do is we just give our frames a quick clean up. I'm just going to give them a bit of a clean right to get any residual crud out of them. It's really not much. You can wash them if you want, but who's got time for that? Less time cleaning, more time tuning, right? Alright, so they're clean. My wife here will get a surprise next time she goes to paint. But, not my problem. So all we're going to do now, guys, is get our Ryko filters. What a difference, eh? Now this of course saves us buying brand new Subaru ones, which are quite expensive. Now that we've got the frames, what we do now is buy the inserts. So we'll just rip them open, like that, okay. There we go, and it's just as simple as popping them in the frame, slide them in like this, compress it when you get to the end and pop it in past the corner and that's in. Do the same for the other element. Really, really simple and we're done. So there you go. Now we can go back to the car and just get the housing all nice and clean, ready to refilm. So obviously there's going to be some grip up in there, especially on the inlet side of the filters. Right, but we can have a quick look at the core. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. The filters do really stop most of the rod going through the system. So anyway, we're going to give it a quick vacuum. Uh, 
right, that should do it. Now we just pop the new elements back up in there. That's it. Now two Phillips screws. And she's back together. Well guys, so now we just add the stickers for the change date. And the part number of our new filter elements now that we don't have to buy the Subaru parts. So it's all good for next time. So so that's it guys. Cabin filter has been swapped and the housing has been cleaned. All ready for our peak air conditioning season. And that's it. So once again, thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. We'll see you next time on this garage.